They say that the witches use it in their ceremonies here. It's here. One for you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's one of the best meals you ever had. The pork is probably the best I've ever had. Oh my. God. We're Michael and Holla. World travelers. Oh avid scuba divers. And food lovers. <laughs> we quit our jobs in 2019 to travel the world full time. Mission success. Unfortunately, in 2020, we had to fly back home to the States due to the COVID pandemic. So, we bought a camper van, adopted a sweet German shepherd named Kana, and now the three of us continue on with our full-time travel around North America in our home on wheels. Previously, we explored the abandoned town of Centralia in Pennsylvania. Yeah, this was my hometown. Oh my goodness. Well, the main reason is because below me, over all this area, there is a giant fire burning. A very interesting place for sure. Our van life journey continues into the state of Massachusetts, a New England state rich with history and traditions. Welcome to Provincetown, drag queens collect the cash. <laughs> we settled in for the night singing and having a few beers at Cape Cod Beer. We are in Salem, Massachusetts. And the weather is just something you can't complain about. Yeah, we got a couple things lined up. We've been working with Destination Salem to come up with a little bit of an itinerary for us today. And we are going to do a couple of things. Yeah, some of the tours were uh, arranged for us. So you ready to explore Salem? I am. Kana's ready. I know she's over in the corner just raring to go. Yeah. So let's get out and explore. Let's go. We're starting off our day by joining the morning coffee walks hosted by Salem Food Tours. And it was great. It was a real this celebration is Karen. having people in town. So we just have a Karen is our host this morning, as well as the founder of Salem Food Tours, the original guided food and cultural walking tour of historic Salem. We're starting off here at Jody B. Bakes. This is actually a great destination for bakery in Salem. Um, so this is a very happy place. And in October, you will see a lot of couple months ago we're a fully vegan bakery. So everything you see here has no dairy, no eggs, um, no animal products, anything. There are a lot of baked goods to choose from. And we're here to sample a few of them, as well as have a cup of custom New England blended coffee. We had a great introduction to Salem while enjoying our coffee and baked treats from Jody B. Bakers. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank it's so you. good. <laughs> now, we're ready to explore Salem. For the next hour, Karen took us around Salem to several historical landmarks while sharing valuable information about the history of the city. Lots of wonderful restaurants to choose from here in Salem. Samantha. Mm -hmm. and then my dear, mm -hmm. the well, my dear you're going to start beautiful. One, two, three. One, two, three. Enjoying Salem so far? Yes, it's a lot different than I expected. There's a lot more here than anything to do with witchcraft. Yeah. These are what's called the Ladies of Salem. The city gives out blanks of these and gives them to artists. And artists can paint them however they want. And they're everywhere in the city. Very neat. Next, we visited Pamplemousse, a gourmet and specialty drink store, to learn about a few things they have to offer. This is a small specialty store and there's so many products that I've never heard before. This is a wonderful place to shop. It's so tempting to get a lot of stuff. Yeah, so one of the things that we, uh, we do here at Pomplibus uh, is this one. These are all meats. It's a wine that's made from honey rather than grapes. This is Viking blood. It's a famous mead that they sell here. They say that the witches use it in their ceremonies here. It's the favorite one, so. That's cool. We may come back for that later. Yeah. We're gonna eventually go left, but I wanna point your attention that if you were to continue south, with a beautiful day like State today, University. we had an enjoyable experience in Salem. I love this fence. It's both stay away and welcome at the same time. It's hysterical. <laughs> Karen took us to a lot of interesting places while sharing her wealth of knowledge about the city. You have a place of respect and reflection, and if this was October, a party. 
hot dog stands and haunted houses. <laughs> the burying point is what most people think of when they think of Salem, and anything that is related to the Salem witch trials of 1692. But more about this later. Finally, our last stop is the Salem Spice. We're gonna learn a lot about the spice in Salem. Everybody, this is David. David, everybody. Hello, everyone. It has Kumar in it. David is the founder and owner of Salem Spice, a small specialty spice store for anything related to food flavoring from all over the world. We tasted so many different salts, spices, and cooking blends that were frankly mind so I hope everybody brought them. This is part of Salem that we weren't aware of. So mm. either love or dislike it. Yeah. Who knew that Salem used to be the illustrious maritime spice trade center in the 16th century of old America? They're gonna be very wow. happy to do a Who knew spice that? tasting is actually a good thing? Good, good, this is actually, absolutely out of my mind. I never really tasted anything like this before. And I'm from so Indonesia. Let's give you, we're gonna That's take crazy. you on in just a moment with the other three, but before we um, And just my life, strawberry and pineapple. We also tasted some refreshing smoothies. The strawberry and pineapple. You're amazing. I will be happy to partake. As well as amazing jams and syrups. On oh salad, on, on Lemon seafood. basil. Oh, the lemon basil. Okay, so I make that with fresh basil and lemon. All are excellent products that are definitely worth trying. Well, sadly, that's the end of our food tour. I know. I, I'm, I'm disappointed because it was so good. <laughs> yeah, Karen did a great job of guiding us and introduce us to Salem. And a lot of the food that they have here. And you know what? If you're going to do this tour, though, do it right when you get to Salem. Go to Salem Food Tours and book it because you get a great overview of everything in the city. So Salem Food Tours, highly recommended. She'll show you places to eat, places to drink, places to get spices, just everything. Loved it. Yes, love it, love it, love it. So today on our food tour, we went to a place called Pamplemousse, which has some mead. And I noticed that one of the bottles in there was about $32, and that's the one that I went in to buy. But he actually recommends, since we're going to share this with friends, that I get a couple of cheaper bottles of crowd pleasers that are just as good. And I actually spent about the same amount of money on two bottles. So we have two bottles of mead that we're going to share tonight with friends of ours at Pamplemousse. And we got the Salem Food Tours discount. We spent a few hours on our own in the afternoon exploring Salem. It is truly a vibrant, fun, and delicious place to explore. It is a really nice night, and a nice night deserves a really good dinner. So we're going to probably one of the more unique dining experiences in Salem. It's a place called Back Alley Bacon, and the people at the Tourist Bureau were actually surprised that we knew about it. It is an unmarked place on Liberty Street that serves pork products. It is pork for people in the know, they call it. In order to get it, you have to have the password. And I'm not sure I remember tonight's password, so I'll have to look it up. We're a little bit farther away from the restaurant right now, but I can still smell it. I can smell the pork coming. So we need to get going over there. <laughs> the password is Roly Porky Poly. Oh, Roly Porky Poly. The line's starting to form. Two more minutes. Come on. Pork. A red light is on. Definitely a red light. They have some kind of ritual, and if you don't know what it is, you got kicked out from the line. So we better know what it is. Roly porky pole. I'm nervous now. <laughs> but you're gonna do it. You're gonna kick us out. If you don't know the word. You're gonna do it. You know the words. One by one, everyone gives the password for the food. Roly porky pole. Roly porky poly. Roly porky poly. Finally, it's our turn to order this highly sought after food. Uh, password is roly porky poly. That is correct. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right. I think I'm blushing. <laughs> I didn't stumble the password, so we actually got our dinner tonight. Fan for two. For one. One, yeah. yeah. Yes, we got our. Bounty. Deliver the pork to me. Ooh, a salad. To offset the... Oh, look at that. I just want one of the potatoes right now, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my God, that sauce is delicious. Is it tender? Oh, it's fall apart in your mouth. The potatoes are awesome. Just look at the slow roasted potatoes. It's one of the best meals you ever had. The pork is probably the best I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Go try it. Oh, it's 
really refreshing. Refreshing. There's a lot of like uh, fresh herbs and stuff, and they're just really refreshing. That's the word for it. I'm not sure if I'd like the pork or the potatoes better. Completely understandable why this place is so popular. Yeah. These potatoes are amazing. One of the owners just popped by to see if we were okay with it. He was nervous about this. Maybe he didn't make this one before. He was like, is it okay? And I was like, yes, yes. it's okay. It's really good. <laughs> More than okay. Michael. We made quick work of it. I mean, even the salad was good. I love the pork. It was really delicious. If we had to split this and you demanded the pork and I take the potatoes, I would have been happy. It's just both really good. Yeah, the, I can't tell you how good the potatoes were. Our journey in Salem continues. So stay tuned for our next exciting videos from Salem. Ford House has a reputation as the most haunted home in Salem. By subscribing to our channel, as well as hitting the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. What's wrong with the microphone? Wait a minute. What is that? Is that an orb? Waiting for the pig. Is that where it is? Yeah. This might be so. Are you waiting? Are you hungry? Yes. Yeah. If you don't sit down and eat something, I'm gonna eat it all.